Welcome back to Salt Town. Welcome back to Hunkered Vegans. Um, it's May 13th, which is, I don't know, day, day 270 of our quarantine. Um, we've done a lot of cooking, kind of talking about my grandmother and talking about the way she taught me to cook and some of the meals that she made that I've veganized. Um, I posted on Facebook recently about an article regarding our meatpacking industry and the things that are happening there and the way the virus is really kind of concentrated in those places. I didn't adopt a vegan diet because of my ethics. I adopted it for my health. The ethics came later. It's kind of a terrible industry. It was before really highlighted right now and even more people are suffering and it's going to make me more expensive and more difficult to get. So when I talk about the way my grandmother cooked, my grandmother was born in 1909. So she really came of age, my mother was born in 1930, and she was very much a cook of the Depression era and then during World War II when food was rationed. So a lot of the food I grew up eating, because Nanny lived with us and did most of the cooking, was depression food. I didn't know it. This, these were the, the 1970s, and um, I don't know where each recipe was adopted or when she started making it. But I know that there were routine favorites, and this was one of mine. This is very much a pantry recipe, and it's not a recipe what we've been doing here. But Nanny made hot dog stew. And hot dog stew was one of my favorite meals. It had very few ingredients. The base, at least for my grandmother, was tomato soup. I happened to have Campbell's because it was on sale. But she used store brand or whatever she found. Now Nanny used tomato soup in the way a lot of people use tomato, tomato sauce. Um, she used it in her stuffed peppers, she used it in her stuffed cabbage, she used it in hot dog stew. It was actually the base of what she called chili, which was more a beefaroni slum gullion kind of thing with, with some pinto beans in it. But she used a lot of tomato soup. I don't know if it was cheaper than sauce at the time, maybe it was, because that would explain that. But I have some, so I'm using it. I haven't had a real hot dog in a very long time, but we purchase these all the time. Light Life makes great smart dogs. They're really acceptable when you want a hot dog, especially when you load them up. The only change I'm gonna make to this recipe is I'm gonna, I'm gonna brown these in the pan a bit. I think it, it brings out the flavor of the product a little bit more. But when Nanny made this, she just chopped up the hot dogs and threw them into the pot. Very simple produce. Always potato, always carrot, always onion, celery if she had it. That's it. We're gonna add some spices and we're gonna we're gonna cook it on the stove. So I'm gonna peel up my potatoes, and this is one recipe where old potatoes are just fine. I've got a few that are starting to sprout. I'm gonna peel them up and uh, put them in a, in a large dice for the stew along with these vegetables. And once I get my chopping done, we're gonna go fry off our hot dogs and start to brown our onions and put this together in the kitchen. Join me there. tablespoon or so of neutral oil. Um, this is canola. You can use olive. You can use no oil if you prefer to each pan here. Okay, we're going to do our onions in the pot where we're going to make our stew. So 
So we're going to get those started and let them brown up. But while we're doing that, I'm going to use a separate pan. And like I said, with the vegan hot dogs, I feel like it brings out a little more of the flavor if you brown them. So I'm going to do that um, in batches, and we're just going to add them into this stew. And we're going to let our onions brown up, and then we're going to build this. Now, as our onions are getting color, I threw in about a tablespoon of chopped garlic. And he never made anything without garlic. So the onions are getting some nice color, and so are the vegetables. Try to brown up nicely. As I said, I'm going to batch the hot dogs, so we're going to put these in. And we'll do our second batch of chopped hot dogs in the frying pan. And once all of that is good and browned and ready, we're going to throw our sauce in. I built the sauce using three cans of Campbell's tomato soup. To that we added two teaspoons of sweet paprika, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of parsley flakes, a teaspoon of onion granules, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of good old Lowry seasoned salt, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I whisk this together with three cans of soup and three cans of water. Now, if this doesn't quite cover our vegetables, we'll just add some water to it. The only thing I haven't added is pepper yet, but we'll finish this with some pepper when we taste it. As we brown up our last batch of sliced hot dogs, we're getting great color on the onion, a little more color on these hot dogs. The garlic is nice and fragrant. We're gonna add our vegetables, potatoes, carrots, and celery, and then we're going to add our sauce. Oh, that's beautiful. You want to get all the flavor into the pot. I'm probably going to add a half a can of water to this so it has somewhere to go and cook down as the vegetables cook. It's already beautiful and fragrant. We're going to throw the rest of our hot dogs right into that mix. And this is going to be hot dog stew. I love this as a child. We had it maybe once a week, or at least a couple times a month. And it was one of my favorite dinners. Now, a package of vegan hot dogs costs, I believe, $3.59. Um, there's about $3 worth of soup. Maybe there's $3 worth of produce here altogether. So for under $10, we've got a nice, big pot of stew going. And I gotta tell you, this is a childhood memory. So we're gonna taste it at the end, see if we have to adjust the seasonings a little bit. And we're gonna have Nanny's hot dog stew. I don't have to finish this dish because I know this dish. Everything we put in is exactly right. I might add a little ground pepper because Nanny loved ground pepper, but this is exactly right.